I wanted to bring you guys along with me. Um, heading to Target now um, to get some stuff done. And it's cold outside. Like, I honestly did not expect it to be cold outside. Like, what? I need to start looking at the weather, especially now. Because it's hot one day, then it's cold the next. So, you just never know. But, yeah, I'm on the way to Target, guys. So, um, I just kind of want to look at a couple of their things. Because I feel like I just need, like, throw-on clothes. Because I don't have throw-on clothes like that. Um, not for the fall season anyways comment down below and let me know like what you guys wear like for fall as far as throw on clothes um, and what are considered throw on clothes besides like workout clothes I'm just kind of confused because I don't really be knowing what to do in the fall like i just love summer summer is my season so um yeah i'm going in target to look in there <laughs> target because I didn't see any tops that I wanted so I'm going to Atlantic Station to go to Bath and Body Works and then probably go to H&M and Forever 21 to see if they have just like some cute tops um this is what I got out of Target you guys seen that I'm I ran out of my Dr. Bronner's soap so I got this one in peppermint. I had the peppermint bar soap, which I loved. So I'm going to try this out. I also want like a little robe that can go like not over my shoulders, but like a, a bath robe. Or I don't, a towel robe, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm about to head to an Atlantic Station now. And then later, probably going to go get my nails done. today I don't know what that was about but I'm hungry so mm, I'm about to make something but I did want to show you guys what I got from Bath and Body Works I just got some um uh wallflower refills I got in the stars ice cranberry scone I got 
falling flurries i got mahogany teak wood and i also got bright christmas morning but i'm about to put i put bright christmas morning in the doorway and entryway and then maybe i'll use falling flurries over in the living room area but yeah y'all it was a lot going on like people are crazy macadamia nut cookies from Publix mm, 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 mm. this is probably why I've been gaining weight it's so good mm. get you some make sure they light skin too like you know how they brown the cookies make sure the cookies are like light brown because they're soft and they're so good but i'm about to cook so i understand as a business owner we have to go up on our prices um of course but my nails are hideous i actually didn't even let her um do like the um clear coat because i just got like basic nails i know it doesn't even look like anything but i just got my basic nails and I didn't even let her put on any type of clear note, clear coat because I'm going to use my gel polish here at home. And it's just not like, just don't worry about it. The shape is ugly. The It's just the quality is not there. And it's so hard to find a good nail place, especially someone that does good short nails. With short nails, you really have to pay attention to detail. It can't be crooked it has to be straight like it just has to be really really good so i'm gonna try to doctor up my nails when i'm finished cooking and um i'm about to cook but i did record a couple clips in the nail salon y'all it was these girls these young girls they were probably in high school in there getting their nails done it was four of them and I guess once they finished getting their nails done, they couldn't pay. Um, I guess because one of the cars that they had just declined or whatever. And they asked me, could I pay? Now, mind you, the bill was $300, $300 something dollars. And I'm like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Because first of all, it's Tuesday. Y'all supposed to be in school. And why would y'all come up here getting your nails done with no money? And I kind of thought about it. I'm like, as, you know, just somebody that provides a service, we typically, like hairstylists, nail techs, and stuff like that, we typically only take the money after we're done. And I get it. You want to make sure the person is satisfied. And, of course, you want the work to be done. And then, you know, you pay them or whatever but shoot sometimes you may need to take it up front because of stuff like that now you got these four girls sitting in your salon for hours calling people trying to scrape up 300 dollars. so it was just quite wild and crazy to me but it just made me think the inflation on prices i definitely miss me a good $25 full set. This full set was $35. And um, I don't even like them. So I'm about to make some cube steak squash. I already have the white rice. I had a cutting board, but I threw it away. So I need to get a new cutting board. I'll probably order that off Amazon. So y'all squash. I absolutely love squash. Do you like squash? Let me know down below in the comment section. 
absolutely love squash. It's so good. I know one time my mom made it and she just made it perfectly. And ever since then, I've been hooked. So cube steak, squash, rice, and gravy is typically my favorite meal that my mom cooks. So I'm probably gonna have to call her to um, make sure I got it right. But yeah, throw these on the stove, season them. And we'll be good to go. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else can do That's why I don't mind. Spend my life with you. I won't please you in any way I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Hey guys, so today is Wednesday. Yesterday was definitely eventful. Um, last night I went to the gym. That's what you guys saw. Um, and it's called R&B Resistance. It's basically a class where you work out, you use the resistance bands and he plays R&B music. So that was fun. I am extremely sore. Um, I'll put the details here on the screen if you guys want to check it out and you're in Atlanta. Um, so today I'm getting a kind of late start. It's two o'clock. I have a client at four and then I want to go to the mall really quick. So if I can, if I have time to come back home to eat, I will. But honestly, I'm just not that hungry today. So probably just eat when I get home or, you know, whatever that looks like. And yes, yeah, so I got my black hair been popping shirt on. Got this from the black hair experience. So it's getting cold. Like y'all, I really have to find like some throw on and go clothes for fall because I just don't have anything. I did clean out my closet. So I'm gonna go to the mall and try to find some pieces for my trip. Um, Cause I leave in the morning for my trip. So I'll be vlogging, vlogging my trip so you guys can see that but comment down below if you guys know where i'm going just guess i'm not gonna give any hints so just guess and the vlogs will be up pretty soon so yeah i'm gonna take y'all on this adventure with me i'm probably gonna also go look for some pompous real quick um and get in some more pompous to complete my collection so um i want to fill this vase up with pompous I'm probably going to cut the stems a little bit shorter so you can't see the stems. You just see the feathers 
and um yeah so let's get to going y'all i really be wanting to like put on lip gloss but then i'm like i gotta put this mask on um i did stop by i seen the pompous but i didn't get it because i just really am running out of time and i have to get to my client on time so i'm at the mall now so we about to go inside <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm home now and I took a shower and everything I just need to pack. It's 12 o'clock, I gotta get up at 6.30, so try to do this quick. And I'm just packing this small bag because I'm just going for a couple days. And this is the bag that I usually take when I'm just going for a short time, but my zara clothes absolutely love all of my zara clothes um and i definitely want to get some more but y'all know zara be taxing a little bit so you got to pace yourself when you go in there um but the the two-piece outfit i definitely want that but for some reason some some small bottoms i can't fit anymore like i'm gaining weight and I can't really fit small bottoms anymore. So I'll have to get those bottoms in a medium. So I'll go back another day to try the medium on and see how I like it. But this is the cute top I got from Zara. And I think I'm going to pack this, not sure. I really don't know what we're doing, so I don't know, but 
And then I'm probably gonna pack this little turtleneck dress. I think it's kind of cold where I'm going, just a, a tad bit, so. Hmm. Or should I just not pack that? This black dress, you guys, is definitely top tier. I really love it, like really, really love it. And I actually got it in extra small, so. I really love this dress so, so much. Um, so yeah, let me pack and figure out what I'm wearing. good morning guys so um it is currently like 7 25 i'm waiting for my uber to come but i just wanted to come show you guys my hair um i just have on the u part wig if you guys didn't see that video i will link it down in the description box but this is the wig i just wanted my hair straight um, and I didn't want to straighten my real hair, so I just threw this wig on, um, this U-part wig on, so it can still give me that, you know, that vibe, so it's cute. I just threw some one curls in the top, and these curls are literally from when I did the video, so this hair definitely lasts, um, the curls last in this unit, it's a kinky straight unit, so... As you guys can see, I did leave texture in my hair since it's a kinky straight unit, but yeah. I'm off to the airport. It's so quiet, but I hear 